So make sure you turn your photo. I've been dropping a lot of things recently, so I don't know what's up with my balance. So make sure you turn your notifications. Why can't I say post notification? Potification. I keep saying potification. God. <laughs> Artistry here and today we're gonna be doing a natural ish smoky eye I think every day I don't know what I need in this video but I'm gonna be playing with the new Melt Cosmetics rustic palette and I did get a lipstick from them as well so one of my subscribers said that she wanted to see like how Melt Cosmetics was so I was like you know what like I'll just do a video for you if you want me to so definitely send me some suggestions because whatever you guys want to see I'm here for you and I always say that so I mean, this video was hence right here. But yeah, we're gonna be playing with the palette. I'm gonna, you know, talk about the palette, how I like it, how I don't like it, all that good stuff. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to my channel, be a part of my mermaid squad. If you're new here, my name is Arielle and I do beauty videos, I do vlogs, I do organization videos, I do, honestly, I do it all. So if you're interested in any of that content, please subscribe. Don't forget to put your notification bell on too so you know whenever I post a new video. If you do like new product review videos, give this video a thumbs up so I can keep creating them for you guys. And yeah, before I ramble on and talk forever because it's been so long since I did a makeup tutorial, if you wanna see how to get Get this look right here just keep watching all right guys let's get started so I don't even have like brows or anything on because I wanted to show you guys on camera because it's been a little minute I'm still doing the same thing but I wanted to give you like the whole shabam you know so I actually have been doing my brows last if I do like a dramatic look so since I'm gonna be more natural today I'm gonna be doing my brows first I'm using the same thing that I always use so this is the Urban Decay brow blade in the shade ginger snack and I'm just gonna use the pencil side and then it comes with a little marker side so you can like kind of mimic the hairs. It's really, really cool. So I'm gonna just do that right now. I'm just gonna brush my brows out and then go in with that uh, Urban Decay pencil. So I just usually start right in the middle and then just flick with my hairs. And then when I get to here, I like to just take my pencil and then kind of mark where the missing hair is. Cause your brow in reality is supposed to start right here. And then I flick up in the front just to make it a little more natural. It's like really simple. And then I just shake it and then use the marker side and start in the front and then just kind of flick up like I did with the pencil and then through the rest of the brow. Boom. See a difference? Nice brow, sad brow. <laughs> They're actually growing out pretty nicely. I use castor oil, so if you guys need like something to grow your brows, definitely try castor oil. I do it every single night. I also do it with my eyelashes and they both have been growing pretty, pretty nicely. Um, I'll definitely link it down below in the description box where I got mine so you guys can cop that. So yeah, let me just do the other brow real quick. Then I take my little spoolie and just kind of brush through them so they look a lot more natural, especially in like the front. And then I take my concealer. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer in 60NN. You guys know that this is my jam. I use this all the time. So I'm gonna take this flat brush right here and then take my concealer, like the little wand, and then put on the brush and just carve out underneath just to kind of hide little hairs, make it a little bit more defined. Then I take this e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush right here and then just blend out the concealer. And I like to drag down and go back and forth just to make sure it's really blended, just since it is a little bit lighter than my skin. But it's just gonna help highlight my brow area. And the last step is I use this Urban Decay brow finisher and it's just clear. And I push up in the front and then go all the way over here. I like to have like more of a brushed up type of brow. So this kind of helps it stay up. All right, so let us move on to eyes. I'm gonna take my OG primer. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Caffeine. This is also my jam. I'm just gonna put it on with the little wand and then blend it out with my finger. All right, now to jump into the magic. 
this rustic palette by Mel Cosmetics. It's so beautiful. I love the packaging. I love how big the eyeshadow pans are. They're like huge. Just the color choices, like the colors are so aesthetically pleasing and you have literally every single color in here so you can make a smoky eye, you can do something natural. If you wanna be bold but not too bold, they do have like a mustard yellow in here. It's so, so pretty. So I think I'm gonna just go more on the natural side, like I keep saying, because I want you guys, if you do get this palette, I want you to be able to recreate something like kind of every day. So let's jump into Rust. Like it's such a warm, like chocolatey brown. It's so freaking pretty. So I'm just gonna take my MAC 217 brush and I'm gonna dip right into Rust. And I'm just gonna tap right in the outer V right here and then push it forward. Ooh, oh my God, this like matches my hair, it's so pretty. Wow, this palette definitely has some pigment to it. So you don't have to wear it, like look at that. So I like to tap on the color and then kind of go back and forth once I have it all on and make sure I spread it out evenly. There's no harsh lines, you know. And then once I make sure that it's on as much as I want it to be, I move on to the cleaner side of the brush and just go back and forth. Just doing the same, make sure there's no harsh lines. It all blends nicely. I'm so obsessed with this chocolate brown color. It's so pretty. All right, so if you do want to darken up the crease like a little bit, I'm gonna be going into Mar and it's just a darker shade of brown. So I'm gonna dip into Mar very lightly and then just put it on the outer V. And this is just gonna give you a little more definition right in the outer V. Only if you want it. This part is totally optional. Ooh, look how pretty. I'm so obsessed. I love warm browns like this. All right, now moving on to the lid. I'm debating if I wanna use Tarnish. It's a really pretty gold color or if I want to use Redox, which I might use because it goes with like the whole chocolate warm tone. So, okay, let's dip into Redox. I feel like Redox was really gonna make our eyes pop too. Oh, that was right. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a rustic color. It's so beautiful, like a rustic copper. Look at that. Oh my God. So I'm just gonna tap it right onto the lid using this flat brush and then go into the crease a little bit, but not too much. Like I'm gonna stop where we put that darker shade, the Mar. And just look, you have like a nice everyday eye. So pretty. I can't wait to do like a smoky eye. Comment down below if you guys want me to do a smoky eye with this palette because I feel like I can do something pretty dramatic. And I'm gonna go back into Rust and just add a little more definition. All right, so we're basically done with the eyes. I just have to do um, lashes and liner and all that stuff. So for my lashes, I'm actually gonna use something a little subtle, a little, calm down, nothing too subtle. <laughs> um, but this is my AliExpress lashes that I like to use and it's in the style E10. So let me pop these bad boys on and then I'll be right back. Before I pop my lashes on, I do wanna add a liner on the top first cause I kind of been switching up my routine a little bit. So this just kind of helps if you have like a little gap between your lashes and the fake lashes, it kind of disguises it a little bit. So I'm actually not gonna use black. I'm gonna use this dark brown shade. This is Urban Decay 24 seven Glide On Pencil in Demolition. And it's just a really pretty brown shade. And I'm just going to do it right on my lash line. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna smudge it out. And the lash will cover it too. So don't worry if it's a little messy. If you don't like to use black, this is a great alternative because it's still dark, but it's not as harsh as black. Now I'm gonna take this little brush right here and I'm just going to smudge it out. See, it's like there, but it's not too harsh because sometimes black can be too harsh in the daytime. So, all right, now I'm gonna pop on my lashes, so I'll be right back. All right, so we are back with my lashes on. See, I told you they're not like too dramatic. I mean, for me anyways, but if you want like something more natural, I would definitely try um, Ardell Wispies. They are pretty bomb, I use them on my clients. So if you want to have like more of a natural eye lash, <laughs> then definitely try that one out. But I did um, mascara, I put more liner on the top, and yeah, so now we're gonna move on to foundation. So for my primer, I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I've loved this primer forever. I stopped using it because I was using the Urban All Nighter Primer, but I wanna give this one a try again. 
because it's just so hydrating. I did just upload my daytime skincare routine too. So if you guys want to see how I keep my skin nice and hydrated, definitely check that out. I will link it down below. I just love how sticky this primer is, but it's not like too sticky where it's like annoying. It's like sticky, like, okay, the foundation's really gonna stick on. Now I'm gonna use my handy dandy corrector. This corrector is bomb because it just like, I don't know if you guys can see my darkness around my mouth. It is not cute. And one time I actually skipped this step and you could totally tell that it was there. So I just do that around my mouth and underneath my eyes. So I literally just take the wand. It's the same wand as the concealer. And I just do little dots. You don't want to go too crazy because you'll see red through your foundation and that's not good. And then three dots under my eyes. And then I take this IT Cosmetics Blending Concealer Brush. It's nice and fluffy. And I just blend it out. So you just pat it and then go in circular motions to make sure it's like really blended. So I just realized I wasn't recording on my mic. <laughs> So if the audio changes, I'm sorry about that. I'm still gonna put the audio in, but it's just gonna sound so different. <laughs> so sorry, I'm still getting used to it. All right, so now that we're nice and blended, see, I like make sure it's like really blended. We're gonna go in with foundation. So I've actually been mixing these two. I've been mixing the Lancome Tinty Doll Ultra Wear and I am in the shade 460 Sue W. Sue, I thought it was suede. I don't know. I feel like it's suede, but it's just abbreviated. And I'm using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation in 61NN. And I just take one pump of the Urban Decay and two pumps of the Lancome. I know it seems like a lot of, I just got it everywhere. <laughs> Why? So like I was saying, um, I take two pounds of, two pumps of the, two pounds, <laughs> two pumps of the Lancome foundation. And it seems like a lot, but I have a lot of acne scars to cover and I don't cover them like I used to. So I, Cause I like covering it with the foundation so it's not too heavy. So let me just wet my beauty blenders. And since I'm out in the garage, I like to use my little Eagles cup, <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> so I just put them on my little Petri dish and then I take the little brush that we used for our eyebrows and just mix them together. And then waste not, want not, because these foundations are expensive. We're just gonna put the leftover from the brush onto our face. And then just put my beauty blender in it and pounce away. See how it just like covered them in two seconds? That's why I like to use that combo. And make sure you get where you put the red so it doesn't peep through. All right, now for cream contour, my favorite part. So I'm gonna take this Tarte the Sculptor. And this is in the shade Park Ave Princess. This is like their known bronzer. So I'm just going to do my cheekbones, underneath my jaw, down my nose, and then my forehead. I love cream contour because you can totally see it in pictures and it just kind of sculpts your face out. And to blend that out, I'm gonna take my setting brush by Real Techniques and just blend it out. This just gives you like extra definition. That's why I love cream contouring. And for my nose contour, I'm taking another It Cosmetics brush and this is the Airbrush Crease. So it's nice and small and it just fits right by my nose. All right, so now I'm gonna take my concealer again, the Stay Naked in 60NN. And I'm just gonna put that right underneath my eyes. And then I take my smaller beauty blender and then just blend it out. And then for the side of my eye, I always cut it with the sponge. Sometimes I'll go like and take the concealer with that little brush and do it that way. But since we're being more on the natural side, I'm just gonna do it with the beauty blender. And it just kind of cleans it up, gives it a nice look, nice sharp edge, you know? All right, now let's move on to powdering my under eyes. So I've been obsessed with this Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder. I freaking love it. It just makes your under eyes look so nice. So I've been using this. So I make sure there's no creasing under my eyes. Then I take this eyeshadow brush by um, Urban Decay and then I just tap it right under there. And then I take a bigger fluffy brush. Um, people always ask me, how can I use this big brush? It just fits like right here, you know? I'm not going like underneath. And I'm just gonna set with that little eyeshadow brush wherever I didn't set like my nose, wherever I put the concealer. Just to kind of blend this bronzer, I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix powder. So I've decided that I only want to use cruelty-free makeup. So MAC isn't one. So I have to find out, like I have to find alternatives to this because 
I don't know. I, I just don't, I feel some type of way that they still test on animals, but that's like a whole new video, so. And I'm using this like round uh, duo fiber brush and I'm just going right under my contour, blending down my neck, and then I go around my mouth just in case again. So since I'm going um, cruelty-free, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite cruelty-free makeup is. And I will definitely make like a cruelty-free makeup video so if you guys are interested just let me know so now for bronzer i'm going to be taking my og which is the becca ipaniba sun bronzer and i'm going to use that same brush that i used before for the uh, mac powder but this one is just angled so it can really like get in there and this just adds some nice warmth now i'm going to take my other real techniques setting brush and just gonna go under my contour just to make it a lot more prominent and then just blend out some things that need to be blended, like especially under here. So now for a blush, I'm gonna be taking my favorite, which is MAC uh, Gingerly. So this is another one that I have to find because I use this blush literally every single day. And I'm just gonna take this angled highlighting brush by Becca and I just like to pop it right on my cheek. See, it gives like a nice peachy color. It's so pretty, but still really natural. So now just to blend it, I'm gonna take that Real Techniques again. Oh, and I forgot to contour my nose as always. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. And this is my favorite highlighter right now. Once the sun like, you know, gleams on it, it's really, really pretty. Pretty. It's really, really pretty. This is the Shimmer Brick Compact by Bobbi Brown in the shade Bronze. So I'm gonna take my Morphe M510 brush and then just pop it right on my cheekbone. See, it's like there, but not. So if you're looking for like a really nice natural highlight these shimmer bricks are nice and one last time for this brush just to blend so for under our eye i want to experiment a little bit i think i really want to use this rubbish shade it's like speaking to me it's such a pretty like it's like if mustard yellow and olive had a baby this would be it it's like so pretty so i'm gonna just put that all under my lash line and i'm definitely gonna add some rust on the outer v on the bottom over here just to make sure that they blend together so you can't really tell it's still like the same it's still in the same like color palette i freaking love it it's so pretty and for that inner corner i'm just going to take that redox shade with this little pointer brush this is a crown c527 it's such a little tiny pointer brush i love it i think i'm going to mix that with antique just a little bit it's like a peachy shade and I think this will just give it like a little, oh yeah, it just gives it a little pop. That's pretty. Wow. This is literally going to be my new everyday. It's so pretty. Love it. Now for lash primer, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Subversion. I'm just going to put it on the bottom. This just makes your lashes really, really long. <sighs> Does anyone else hold their breath when they're doing mascara? Or is it just me? So I like to let that sit a little bit just to make it a lot more tacky so the mascara can sit on there. So while that is drying, we're gonna be doing some lips. So I also got this lipstick from Milt and this is Voyeur. It's an ultra matte lipstick. I think this is a really pretty like brown girl nude. It's a little bit cool toned as well. I think it's just so pretty. And I'm gonna pair that with um, some liner just so it's not like so ashy. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty. So you definitely need a liner with this or else it's gonna look too light. So I'm gonna use my favorite lip liner. This is ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF3. You see how the liner just helped it out? So it didn't look too light. Now I'm gonna go back in with the lipstick. And before I put the gloss on, I do want to put the mascara on before it gets like too dry. So for mascara, you guys already know, this is my favorite thing ever. This is the Giorgio Armani Mascara in Black Ecstasy. This mascara is bomb. It's a little pricey, but it's really, really good. Oh, I'm like on a whole new level of happy right now. This is my everyday makeup. Like, oh my God, it's so pretty. All right, so now to top my lips off with some gloss. I actually really like these ColourPop glosses. So this is in Princess Cut. It's just a clear. I don't have a clear gloss, which is like really weird to me. So I just picked this up. I think it was like six bucks. It was really, really inexpensive. And it just adds a little you know, lusciousness to it. And it does have some plumping to it. And we're almost done. We just have to spray our face, girl, and that's it. So I'm gonna use the D Slick Setting Spray to make sure this stays on all day. Ooh, oh, it smells so good. And that is it. I'm just gonna do this hair. It's not too crazy, but I'm just gonna make it look a lot more cute than it is right now. And then I'll be right back, guys. So this is the completed look. I... I'm not gonna say it because I literally always say it. 
I do really love it. <laughs> I love the whole color palette of this palette. I think it's so, so pretty. This is such a good like every day. And if you don't want to add that extra step of like smoking it out over here, you can totally skip that. And this can be your everyday look. I love a brown everyday eye. It looks so like natural, but still like I tried, you know what I mean? So I literally am obsessed with this. This is my brand new everyday. I'm so glad that I shared it with you guys first. And about the palette, I love the palette. I love the color palette of it. I think it's such a good staple to have because you can go smoky if you wanna go smoky. If you want some color, but not too much color, you can add some color with that like burnt yellow shade. I think this palette is honestly amazing. And the pan sizes are really big. It's not skinny. So you have a lot of shadow in there. Yeah, and I love that lipstick. I think this lip is really good for, you know, darker skin girls. I think it's a really pretty nude if you just do like a darker lip liner so you don't lose your lips and it doesn't look like you have concealer on your lips. But yeah, I'm like so obsessed with this look. Let me know what you guys think down below. Definitely gonna be creating some other looks with that palette, so stay tuned for that. I just wanna say I hope you all are safe, well, and healthy. If you're bored at home, just try to keep yourself busy so you don't have to think about, you know, everything that's going on. Make sure you get outside, practice social distancing, like go for a walk or something. Don't just be stuck in the house because that's when depression kicks in and that is not okay. That's not your friend right now, so. Yeah, I hope you were all safe and I'm gonna keep creating videos for you guys. So yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, be a part of my mermaid squad, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.